our soup is ready. One last stir. And we'll turn down the heat. In this obono recipe, we are going to be using beef and pomo. Mm -hmm. The beef is actually frozen, but we are going to be boiling on low heat. We we'll steam it first before we add water. Then we have onions and crayfish blended. These are dry fish washed with salt and hot water. This is dry pepper, local dry pepper and Cameroon pepper. This is the blended bono. One cup of bono we'll be using to make the soup. And lastly, palm oil we're actually going to add dried bitter leaves i just poured hot water to soften it up we are not using pumpkin leaves but dried bitter leaves we have to add in some water to the meat for 20 minutes The pepper mix, Cameroon pepper, crayfish, onions, all the stuff I blended into this meat and fish. I also added seasoning cubes and salt to taste. I've tasted it, it's perfect. I don't want to put any other seasoning or salt after I've added the obono. So the obono is going to be like almost the last item. We'll allow this one to cook for 10 minutes. Right now we are adding palm oil into the obono. It's inside the boiling meat for the heat to melt it for just three minutes. So we are bringing out the obono from the meat mixed together until you get a smooth consistency. Then you set aside. Do it gently, dissolving all lumps. Now to turn it together at this point. Pour in the bono. For it won't cover the pots, just allow it to continue for the next 10 minutes. Right now, we have to turn. See if it's almost ready. After turning, we're adding in the dry pita leaves as the last item. Sprinkling your bitter leaves and adding little bitter leaves because. I don't want the soup to lose its abono flavor when it's on. It's almost ready. We'll allow the bitter leaves to mix up and cook for like five minutes. Then we'll bring down our soup. Our soup is ready. One last stir. Turn down the heat. It's water for our swallow. We are making pound yam and pound potato. It's actually too extreme for me to eat pound potato alone or pound yam to get the perfect swallow for me. I mix my potato and yam together don't worry once it's ready you see how it looks and how it feels so there's no measurement for this i just eyeball it and um, pour everything together in a bowl and mix thoroughly i'll add more of the pounder yam 
I usually don't have stomach troubles when I take this, when I mix the pounded yam and the pounded potato together. Adding in some of the scooped out hot water to the swallow spread so you can cook properly. Want to achieve a fluffy swallow at the end of the day. Cover it up while to cook. At this point, it's properly cooked. It's done, so we turn. Our solo is ready. See how smooth and colorful it looks. This is what you achieve when you mix your pounder yam and pounder potato together. Soft, fluffy. This is the kind of food you eat with an obono soup. And after eating, you go and sleep. <laughs> so we'll turn down the heat and serve. potato and a bottle of soup so I'm going to be testing it now it's so nice Today we made a bottle of soup and swallow. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much, my new subscribers and my returning subscribers. You rock. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See ya.